I'll be home in 20. Okay, babe, I made a stew, so it'll be on the stove waiting. Thanks, sweetie. Hey, do me a favor, put Bailey on. Okay. Hey, Dad, can you help me with my geology project? I would love to, honey bunny, but rocks are kind of your thing. I just need you to pick up some baking soda and vinegar. What are you making, a volcano? Please. Uh, yeah, okay. Honey, I, I gotta take this call. I'll be home in a little bit, okay? I love you. Love you too, Daddy. Hey, I just emailed you the current numbers, and I actually think we're on to something. I just wish our work was being appreciated. People will appreciate your work once they see how valuable this stuff is. I'm not doing this to make people rich, Frank. No, I'm, of, of course not. I was... Listen, I know you, um, you like to keep your privacy, but I thought maybe we could actually meet up sometime face to face. No, I understand. Okay, so why don't we talk next week, and then, you know, we'll see where I'm at. Sure, okay. Bye-bye. Scared me. Was that you following me? Dude, whoa, whoa. What? Man, put the gun away. What do you put the gun down, dude? It's not funny. Okay, come on. Just don't don't do this. Take whatever you want. Don't do this! Why are you doing this? I'm about to hit the road. I should be home in about four hours unless I hit traffic. Uh... Bailey! Fee! Uh... 
Freshman year is officially over. No more exams. Tell me about it. Who knew studying to be a doctor would be so hard? <laughs> hey, I saw your text about meeting up for coffee, but I thought you were going straight to the Grand Canyon. Are you, like, coming home first and then going to the summer study program? I can't go. Wait, wait, what? You've been dreaming of that geology program since high school. I, I thought you already got accepted. I did. And then my mom got the bill way out of our budget. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, on the bright side, you get to spend the entire summer with little old me. I mean, I got some rocks in the backyard that you could study. <laughs> hey, better idea. We should go to my dad's cabin sometime. Totally. The three amigos. Three? You, me, and uh, Anders. No, not Anders. Nice try. Come on. When you broke up, didn't you do that whole let's be friends thing? No, we didn't. And we aren't. I'll call you tomorrow about coffee. <laughs> I think the real question is, what are you doing? I'm working out. Since when do you work out? I know, right? I've done all these things to improve myself since you left for college. Oh, well, I'm so glad my leaving improved your life. <laughs> so you get something to drink, and then I'm going to change because I'm taking you to a vegan restaurant. Uh, vegan? Yes! What? You do vegan now? We love vegans. Okay. So, um, since when are you vegan? I'm not vegan. I'm vegetarian now. That's great. <laughs> but, um, why? I mean, this, this isn't like you. Remember how you were so excited to leave home and go to college? One day I was sitting there and I just realized she's really gone. <laughs> and it was just me. And, you know, our house was always so filled with love and suddenly I didn't have anyone to love. Mom. There's actually a happy ending to this story. I've met someone. I... I don't know what to say, but... I'm happy for you. Really? Yes, I'm happy for you. It's all that matters. Sweetheart. Oh, good. Hi, yes. Um, you know what? This juice... Not really doing it for me today. Um, could I just get like a glass of water, please? Thanks. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh, isn't she cute? Um, sweetheart, this isn't the waiter. This is him. Hi, Bailey. I'm Hugo. Hey, babe. Hi, sweetheart. <sighs> Hi. Hey. Uh, hi. <laughs> so. How did you guys meet? <laughs> I was in the grocery store, and I had dropped my honeydew melon, 
and suddenly Hugo was there and he picked it up for me. Well, and of course, I pointed out that you really should eat them separately from other foods so that they can digest in your stomach more properly. Hugo's like a nutritional genius. Because you're a doctor. Uh, uh, no, a healthy living consultant. Oh, uh, let me guess. Uh, eat right, exercise more? You know, it's a little bit more than that. Um, you see, what you need to do if you're going to be a healthy living consultant... Um... Oh, I'm sorry no, no, I interrupted no. you. I no. was just thinking maybe we, you guys could talk about all of that later and we should do the thing first. Oh, Wait. Oh, oh, okay, sure. What? Sure. So I just Wait, wanted to... On. Hold on, hold on, ready? <laughs> You're getting married. Hugo wanted to just run off and get married right away in Vegas, and I told him that we couldn't because I have to, to wait for my maid of honor to get home. Wait, um, when is the wedding? Saturday. <laughs> oh. My God. oh. She react if I showed up one day and announced I was gonna get married to some guy I just met last semester. It's not like that. When did you meet him? February. So it's exactly like that. Wait, is he already living here? For love. You're unbelievable. Bailey. Why is all my stuff in boxes? Oh, okay. I, well, I was just about to tell you this part. Why? What? Why does this look like men's clothing? Sweetie, um, it's just that Hugo is using your room. Tempor what? Temporarily. You are going to love him. I promise you. Remember how I told you we met in the grocery store and it was such a beautiful story, right? And then we left and we went our separate ways and I was driving and I thought I broke down and I realized I had a flat tire. Suddenly he was just there behind me in his car and he got out and he came over and he, he changed the tire for me. Wait. Has he been using my desktop computer? Well, just for his work emails. Dad left it to me, Mom. No, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go talk to him right now, and I'm gonna fix all of this, okay? I'm gonna go downstairs and talk to Hugo. I'm gonna fix it. Does it bother you that I'm not into computers and stuff like you are? Are you kidding me? I'm really just happy you found something that you're interested in, and you're pretty good at it, which makes your daddy happy. See, I was right. Limestones are gray, but the walls of the Grand Canyon will look red because the limestones are staying with the iron washing down from above it. Morning. You feel like talking? Hey. Hello. Do you want to talk? Don't tell Hugo I'm eating eggs, okay? 
I know that you're upset that I surprised you with all of this, but the reason why I did it is because I wanted to tell you this in person, and I didn't want to disrupt your studies. Yes, but you it can't really just... makes me happy. I know, but you understand that this is just a bit shocking to me, right? I mean, I come home and everything's changed. I know. Let's sit down. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, I think I'm just a little tired. <sighs> Sweetheart, you know, sweetie, I've thought about this for a while, and there's been a few times over the last nine years since your father passed that I've thought maybe I was ready to start dating, but I just didn't know how it would feel for you. I don't want to bring a string of men into your life only to have someone leave you again. I think you should see me happy. I mean, I deserve to be happy, right? Of course, <laughs> you do. Please try to get along with him for me, please. Okay. Okay. I will. Really? What is this? What's that about? Oh, yeah, delivery guy just uh, dropped off a new batch of my, my powders and shakes and stuff. I, I need to use my car. Oh, you know what? Go ahead, take my car. It's out front. Fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome home didn't go quite as planned, huh? It was fine. Oh, uh, did I mention my mom's getting married on Saturday? Wait, hold on. Whoa. So who? His name's Hugo. Who's Hugo? He's like some living consultant or something. What even is that? I don't know. That's the whole thing, and my mom's marrying him on Saturday. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you just so happen to be stopping by? You know, I was close by and I saw that few checked in on Facebook. What? We always check in. Look, I know it's been a year, but I was just hoping we could talk about what happened. At, at least be friends. You wanted to move on, Anders, so I've moved on. I got you your favorite. My favorite is now chai latte. People change their minds, but you of all people should know that, right? Maybe that's no. What were you thinking? Give me the coffee. We're not wasting it. <clears throat> Bailey, wait. What's your problem? My problem is I don't want to see him again. For God's sakes, Bailey, you dumped him. Why are you even mad at him? I didn't dump him. He dumped me. Yeah, I was there, and I'm pretty sure you dumped him. We were supposed to go to the same college together. Same school, same relationship, and then in the middle of the summer, he tells me he's gonna stay here and work instead of go off to college with me. Mm-hmm, and then you dumped him. Not going to college with me was the dumping. Making me go off alone was the dumping. So he doesn't wanna go to college. It doesn't mean he doesn't still like you. I mean, look at him, look at that face. Clearly, he still wants you. I don't have time for this today, V. Come on, Bailey. He's a good guy. And you guys are like perfect for each other. I mean, people do change. We can at least still be friends. Come on, we can go to your dad's cabin and hang out and have picnic. <laughs> I mean, I'm the perfect third wheel. And you know that isn't easy to find. I've had a lot of time to think about it. And buying me a coffee isn't gonna make up for the hurt.
Wedding's at four, by the way. The theme is love. Oh, God, seriously? I know. What were you thinking? Hey, I was just... And then, no, don't talk. Drink your coffee. And recollect on what you just did. Because it was a mess. Okay. Have a chat. Sorry. Okay, so I was I was I was driving and then this guy he like pulled in front yeah, of me. Yeah, the guy was probably just someone who saw my ad on the car and wanted to know more about it. He cut me off. Nobody does that because of an ad. Hi guys. What's happening? Mom, this guy... I let Bailey borrow the car, and a potential customer must have seen the ad, but he took off when he realized Bailey was driving. No, that's... that's... that that's not what happened. This guy looked really dangerous. <laughs> okay. He looked dangerous? Yes, he did. Oh. Well, maybe she shouldn't be driving the car yet by herself with that big sign on it. You know what? You are absolutely right, sweetie. Sorry, Bales. No more borrowing the car. Problem solved by my beautiful fiance. Mm. Oh, oh, pretty great. My shakes are here. What? Yeah, you gotta see. We've got chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. I was alone, adrift. I was a link looking for a chain. And then you came into my life. And we came together. And we completed the circle. Ugh, that metaphor could use some work. Am I right? Nah. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Dear. Hugo is going to be so good for her. Yeah, he's a, uh, um, it's a, uh, I'm so glad the weather held up, too. <laughs> okay, hon, see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. You know, you shouldn't slouch. It, um... Compresses the intestines, can lead to lower back spasms. Hey, don't touch me. Hey. You okay? He... Oh, no, 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 it's, uh, it's my fault. I invaded Bailey's personal space without permission, so... I wouldn't do it with someone I was training, so... I shouldn't have done it to you. It's just a mistake, sweetie. Why do you want to apologize to Hugo? What? No, that's not what happened. Oh, I'm... um, excuse me, sorry. Um, I was just leaving and some guy dropped this off, so... Oh, I said no presents. Yeah, he didn't say a name, so, you know, I'm guessing pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't want us to sleep in. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll take it in. Oh, great. Don't forget that. I'm actually going to go in, too, and change, all right? Do you guys mind cleaning up a little bit uh, for me? Yeah. Okay, sure, sure. Bye. Oh, so what are they even doing for the honeymoon, anyway? Oh, didn't I tell you? This is a really important time for Hugo and his business, so he needs to be here, like, 24-7, so there is no honeymoon. Oh, my God. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough that he's cheap and doesn't take her anywhere, but it's like... He's got her so wrapped around his finger that she can't even see it. He's one strange dude. What is he doing? He's probably talking about that crappy gift he got. I think he might be right. Oh my gosh, get down. I really wish it was at the Grand Canyon. I'm kind of enjoying this spy stuff. <laughs> I think I'm funny. I love yes, that. I'm so course. bummed that we're out of kale. Sweetheart, I want you to try the kale. Remember, I used to hate it, and then Hugo taught me how to blanch it. You blanch it before you saute it, it is delicious. Well, you know, it's incredible how much nutrients Mother Nature provides, and then some people just throw it in the trash. You know, it's disgusting. It's horrible. Babe, this looks, this looks good. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, sweetie, no phones at the dinner table. Bailey. Sweetheart. Really? Hi. Hello. There's no phones at the dinner table. Since when? <laughs> Since it's my house and I make the rules. This is my house, too. Oh, really? Uh, so now that you're home from college, you're going to start paying half the mortgage? Mom. Okay. Can we just, can we just have a nice dinner? Give me your phone. No. Bailey. Give me your phone. I'm not a child. You live in our home. No, Hugo, you're living in our home. Besides, you use your phone all the time. <laughs> well, well, yeah, of course. I have to make calls, okay? I'm not doing all the nonsense that you kids are doing. He's a grown-up, sweetheart. He has serious business he has to do on his phone. Yeah, no, it's called being a hypocrite. Bailey, can you have some respect for your mother, okay? I would like to enjoy a meal with my new wife. Please don't ruin it. And if you would, just put your phone down just for dinner. Please. You should feel your vertebrae opening up right there. <laughs> Shit. I'm not kidding. I know. It's hey guys. It feels so good. Yes. Who took my phone? Uh, nobody took your phone. I went to the shower. It was there, and then I came back, and now it's not there. Bailey, I'm sure your phone will turn up. <laughs> Mom, this isn't funny. It's not that we think it's funny. It's just that we don't think it's an emergency the same way that you do. <sighs> Relax into that. You gotta relax into that. Okay, okay.
Hey, um, you hey. said you weren't gonna take it. Are you talking about your phone again? Somebody returned my phone to my room overnight, which is creepy, by the way, but not nearly as creepy as somebody spying on me through my webcam. No one has taken your phone, sweetheart, ever, and no one is spying on you. Was it a punishment, or was it spying? Because I'm pretty sure that you couldn't get past my lock screen, but somehow you managed to remotely use my webcam. I don't even understand those words that you just used, and you know that. You mean it's Hugo? What? Hugo's been spying on me in my room? You're accusing my husband of spying on you? <sighs> okay. I can't, I can't. Well, yeah. He is a creepy guy. First of all, do not call my husband creepy. And second of all, I understand you're going through a teenager stage right now where you think the whole entire world is about you. About me? Yes, I know you're used to having me all to yourself. And now you have to share me with... Hugo, with Hugo. <laughs> no, Mom, you're not hearing me. Wait, what were we just talking about? Oh, I know what we were talking about. We're talking about your phone. Your phone. This is very important. You don't need to be texting and taking selfies as an occupation. Do you understand? You have a brain. Mom, uh, are you okay? Have you been drinking? What? Of course I haven't been drinking. What are you talking about? So your mom really said all that old people nonsense? Yes. Well, your stepdad really is tearing you and your mom apart. Okay, will you please stop calling him that? Do you prefer a guy having sex with your mom? Oh, no, that's gross. <laughs> <sighs> oh, um, did I mention that I think he turned on my webcam? Really? Great, you don't believe me either. Of course I do. But why? I don't know. He's not gonna get a show if that's what he's after. Oof. My mom, she's acting so strange. Like, like she's stoned or something. I've known your mom for quite a while and there's no way she was stoned. I know, that's why it's all so weird. <sighs> oh. It's for my mom. Mm, looks like she wants to go on a run for some reason. I gotta go. All right, well, all right. Thanks, girl. Mm-hmm. You know, exercise? Gross. <laughs> Your mom arranged it. She thought we could use the alone time, you know, to bond. <laughs> wait, 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 what are you afraid of, huh? Can't hang with a guy twice your age? Not afraid. Just don't care. Well, come on, hey, it'll be fun. Look, I'm just trying to get you active, Bales. You know, from what I understand, your dad wasn't big on exercise. Don't talk about my dad. All I'm saying is, good habits are learned, and from what your mother said, he didn't really teach you that. So I'm just, I'm just here to help. My dad and I were plenty active, okay? Mom was just too busy to notice. Okay, well then, come on, bring it. Show me some of what that old man taught you.
right, all right, all right, all right. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Good job, good job, way to push. No shame in that. We gotta set up a baseline so we can track your progress. So what I'll do is I'll set up a regimen for you, I'll get you some diet tips, and then we'll... You know what, Bales? I'm gonna take a couple more laps. All right, I'll, uh, I'll see you back at the house. Forgetful? I'm just tired. <clears throat> I'm so excited to be married. Uh, it's kind of like the honeymoon phase, so I haven't been sleeping. Well, I, I think you should maybe get a checkup. Just to be no, sure. I don't need to get a checkup. I'm fine, I promise. I'm just tired. In fact, I was just about to take a nap. Oh, okay. So I'll be perfect after that. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. All right. All right. Let's take a nap right here. doing oh hey that's uh, some laundry i was doing ours so i figured i'd throw yours in with it what the hell what you're folding my underwear but hey 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 hands off my underwear but it's just clothes what's the big deal what's the big deal you're in my room touching my underwear that's the big deal okay fine do it yourself i'm not here to hurt you bailey what are you here for to love your mom, to make her happy. I'm starting to think that might not actually be true. You know what? Whatever, okay? The workout weirdo has other things to do. as the workout weirdo, which, ironically, is the exact same phrase I used to describe him in a text to Fee. You said your phone went missing. Maybe he stole your phone and read your text. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my mom's right, and I'm just being really paranoid about this, but is there any possible way that he could be, like, hacking my phone or something? Maybe he's reading my conversations? I don't see anything, so... That's interesting. What? You have a mirror app on your phone. Wait, what? Yeah, like whoever did this, they can see everything. They can see what you type, what you search, everything on your screen. So he could be looking at us right now? Hugo. He stole it. No, hold on. I have my home screen locked. 
I mean, you both live in the same house. You could just wait till you fall asleep, and then he sneaks in. Oh my god, while I'm sleeping? Uh, it's, it's just a theory. Why would he preach the whole phone and internet or evil thing to my mom? Maybe there's something he doesn't want her to find out. Mm, you know? You might be right. Let's search. Okay, here it is. Um, scroll down to his bio and history. Whoa. Okay, that's weird. He told me and my mom that he was just starting to put his business together. Well, according to the timestamps here, his business has been up for over four years. That's way before he met my mom. Why, why would he hide this from her? I mean, some of the links are dead, including his bio. And it was active, but then he had to take the information offline. So he clearly is hiding something from his past, and he doesn't want my mom to know about it. And he's spying on me for some reason. Are you gonna show this to your mom? Let her know who, who she's married to? No. Hugo's got her so wrapped around his finger. I need to do some digging first. Okay, well, at least let me take the mirror app off your phone. You can't do that, because then he'll know I'm on to him. But if I keep it on, then he'll be able to track my every move. Hey, welcome to the world of burner phones.
That's a strawberry one. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Morning. Morning. And coming right up. Here you go, baby. Thanks, baby. You wanna shake? Mm. Sure. I'll try one. Good. Uh yeah, sure. Um just give me give me a sec. Oh, what's that? That's for my muscle cramps, right? Yep. From an unmarked bag? Well, it's um, it's the same stuff you buy at the health food stores, except you know, since I buy it in bulk, it's easier to transfer to the baggie. So mm. he's really good with money. Mm. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. So, um, how long have you been doing this? Five years. Dave, hey, you're just being humble. That's that's not what you told me. Well, no, that's. That's when I first had the idea, was, was five years ago. But I've, um, I've only been, you know, really focused on it for about the last couple months. And um, what did you do before? I was a fitness instructor. <laughs> yeah, working for the man. And in the last few months, you decided to um, really go for it? Be your own boss? Exactly. Mm. So you worked at um, fitness clubs? Yeah. Which ones? Oh, God. Um, well, of course, there's the big, the yes. big three, the big three, and then when I first started out, <laughs> you know, I was kind of working at the crappy ones, like at strip malls and stuff. Do you remember their names? Hey, babe. Do you mind? Will you go grab me my prescription sunglasses? I'm gonna have to get going. I, I, I saw them over near the TV. I want the ones that are up on my dresser. Oh, okay. Thank you. I know that you're not excited about having a stepfather. I'm 19 years old. Mom, I don't need a stepfather. And he's up to something. I mean, why couldn't he answer a simple question without being evasive? Because, sweetheart, you were being rude. You need answers, Mom. I don't need answers. I need some peace in this house. I want you to give that to me, no matter what you have to do. I don't like you coming home from college for a few semesters and suddenly acting like you're smarter than everyone. Doing my laundry is creepy. No, it's not creepy. That's actually very helpful. It's creepy. Mom, it's like he was looking for an excuse to be in my room. Dad never did. No, don't. Don't talk about your dad. Don't compare Hugo to your dad. Hugo is not your dad. He was a great dad. He was a failure. Mom, I'm sorry. You know I loved your father, but he was a dreamer. Nothing ever worked out for him. Don't you remember he used to always preach to us about saving money? Well, guess what, sweetie? He didn't save any money for us. He failed us. <laughs> you say that? Because you're old enough to hear the truth now, and that's the truth about him. He also told me that he was going to put away a college fund for you, and he didn't do that either. It doesn't matter. I will work until I drop dead to pay off your student loans. I'm so thankful, and I need you to be thankful that Hugo is here to help us. You're thankful? Really? Are you really so hungry for love that you can't see that there's something clearly wrong with this guy? I think that there is something clearly not right with you right now, and you're taking it out on him. Me? Yes, I am trying so hard to make this relationship work. Mom, coming down in the middle of every argument is not making this work. It does not make everybody happy. It just pushes the problem down the road. What do you want me to do? Stop trying to be the peacemaker between you two? I want you to take my side when I'm right. All right. Just tell Hugo I'll meet him outside, okay? Babe, they are not on the... Where did she go? You heard the whole thing, didn't you? What are you talking about? It's creepy. It is. You're creepy. 
Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, man. What's going on? I can meet you near the pier in an hour. Are you, like, sure about that whole following Cuba thing? I mean, it's kind of like a bad cough show or something. <laughs> He's up to something, and whatever it is, it's, it's happening in 40 minutes. Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of dangerous. Maybe we need, like, a big, strong guy with us, sir. I thought you were a feminist. Fine. Okay, cool. Let's go. Sorry, I'm late. Late? I bet you were late because you were, uh, trying to get your nerve up, maybe? <laughs> nah. Oh my god, wait, that, that's the same guy that tried to run me off the road. Yeah, that's the same guy who delivered the wedding present. Well, Hugo doesn't seem to be happy to see him. I wish we could find a way to hear what they're saying. We can't get any closer. They'll recognize me. I have an idea. It's Anders. Where's my money? I'll have it. Soon. I just, um... Yeah, it's gotta be in that house, you know. I just gotta find it. It's had months and you still can't find it. Okay. What about the other option? That, that's a last resort, right? We've reached less resort time. I'm telling you, once my system takes off, I start making sales, I can start paying you back. And then this other thing can take all the time it needs. Your system got you in this mess. Let me tell you something. You owe me money. Look, I'm no rich in the land of I had to get that money from someone else. If you can't pay me, I can't pay them. And if I can't pay them, you know what happens? Huh? Guys, that look a lot scarier than me. I'll start paying you a visit. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I get that Hugo needed money from shady people, but what is up with the money in your house? <sighs> no idea. Though Hugo thinking that there's money in the house would explain a lot. You need to play that for your mom. Yeah, it'll really open up her eyes to see what's going on. But I need to separate her from Hugo to do it, so it isn't get a chance to twist the truth again. Yeah. Why don't you just bring her to the cabin with us? You guys are going to the cabin? Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow. You can come too. Great. Yeah I, uh, yeah, I mean, I have the whole deal. But how are we going to convince her to come with us? The three of us can go out there tomorrow, and then I'll call my mom when she's at work and tell her that somebody broke in and she needs to meet us there. Okay, but what if she tells Hugo to come with her? Hopefully we'll have enough time alone with her to convince her. Okay, um... I'm down.
here with you guys. Remember when we used to tell our parents that we were coming out here to study? Well, we just ran around instead? Yeah. I have a lot of great memories in this place. Looks the same. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> hey. It's my old treasure box. What can I put in it? Well, um, really anything you want. Rocks, fossils, gold nuggets. You just never know what's going to be valuable someday. But you do have to remember this. You have to plan for the future. Right. So let's see what's in there. That is cool, huh? Ooh, mommy would love that. Plan for the future. Good to see you. Why are you answering my mom's phone? Can I talk to her? Oh, no. She's, uh, she's gone. Gone where? Fitness boot camp. No, seriously. No, seriously. She's off to the mountains to cleanse her body and mind. No access to phones or computers or mail. Totally cut off from, from all of this. What? Well, your mom felt that all the tension in the household was affecting her health. And, and I gotta tell you, Bales, um, I agree. I mean, you've seen her around here, you know, walking around like a zombie. No, no, we have got to get her better. Just you and me. It's those stupid shakes. <laughs> no, no there's, there's nothing in the shakes. They're all, it's all natural ingredients. It's, uh, no, this one's on you, kiddo. What did you do with my mom? Ten days. Mm -mm. Just you and me. In this house. Alone. Guys? I'm screwed. Oh my gosh. What happened? It's weird. I just got an alert that somebody tried three times and failed to enter the passcode on my laptop. I have to reset it. <sighs> Hugo. He knows I'm over an hour and a half away, so he uses that time to try and hack my laptop. God, I was so stupid to leave it behind. Hold on. He hacked your phone so he could get into your computer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hugo's not looking for money. He's looking for something that will lead him to money. And it's not a tangible thing. He's been searching the computers. My dad's old one, my phone, now my laptop. So it's like, gotta be on a file. Or maybe like an email with like info or a password with a code, right? Right. Hold on. My buddy Suju just texted me about the photo I sent him. What photo? Oh, I found this flash drive that Hugo was trying to hide, and it had a weird logo on it, so I sent it to Anders to see if he knew what it was. And I crowdsourced it to all the geeks at the store. Well, what did Suju say it was? He wants to meet up. Says it's easier to explain in person. It's a cryptocurrency wallet. It was created by a guy named Hiromazaki, and he called it an e-wallet. You can download 
the cryptocurrency onto the e-wallet and carry it around. Or lock it up in a safe. Or whatever. And let's say you lose the e-wallet. Then what happens? Your currency is lost forever. Until someone else finds the e-wallet, then it's finders keepers? No. These e-wallets are password protected. Others believe that Hiromazaki created this e-wallet along with the cryptocurrency Nextcoin. Didn't Nextcoin go through the roof recently? Yeah. Gamehenge retailer announced they are going to start accepting payment in Nextcoin. Suddenly, what was worth pennies is now worth millions. Wait, if Hugo has an e-wallet filled with digital currency, then why doesn't he just use that to pay off the guy that keeps hounding him? Because he can't access the e-wallet without the password. And he lost the password. So he must think that it's in your computer or in your phone. That's why he's spying on you. Why would I have the password? We're looking for Hiro Muzaki. Oh, um... It's important. My name is Bailey Kershaw. We just have a few questions. Please. Did you say your name was Kershaw? Come with me, please. Yes. I thought it was familiar. Frank Kershaw. My father. You knew him? No. I'm Riko Muzaki. I was just in high school at that time. But I remember when he was killed. Wait, your father created an one, didn't he? Hey, listen, if, if you can tell us anything that's happening, like, if he did, can, can you tell us what's going on in, in Bailey's life? So, can, can we talk to him? Yes, my father created Next Coin seven years ago. But I'm afraid he had an accident last week. My father was shot to death on the rooftop after leaving his office. That is a really weird coincidence. So how did my father and your father know each other? Were they partners? No. Let me explain. My father, he wanted to make sure that average people could do the mining. So he hired your father and set him up in an office in a strip mall to do the cryptocurrency mining and gave him the basics. Your father was a bait tester. He let my father know if there were any bugs and how much electricity and time it took. In return, your father kept whatever currency he mined. So, where is my father's money? I assume it's on the e wallet my father built for him. Oh, wait, like this one? Actually, it's exactly that one. My father stopped putting on the company logo on them after he made the batch for your father. So you're saying that that e-wallet belonged to my father? Yes. By any chance, have you seen this man before? Yes, I remember this guy. Hugo, I think. Wait, wait, you know Hugo? He came around a few times seven months ago. He wanted to know if my father had to build a back door into the e-wallet. It's the way to get the money, even you don't know the password. But my father told him it's for security reasons. That would defeat the whole purpose of the password. But it was just a four-digit pin. I mean, he could just gather up all the combinations and then... I mean, it would only take him like a... a Ten little... years. Yes. Entering all possible combinations by hand. I think you could crack it in a week. But my father figured that. For extra security, after three wrong tries, you blocked out for 24 hours. Tell me, uh, how long have you been doing this? Five years? That's... that's not what you told me. What did you do before? I was a fitness instructor. So you worked at fitness clubs? 
Which ones? You know, when I first started out, working at you know some crappy strip mall places. Do you remember their names? Bailey, are you okay? Are you okay? Did I say something wrong? The office building that you rented to my father. What else was in that building? It was a long time ago. Um, I don't know. Uh, a jeweler? Uh, an ice cream shop? A small gym? And... <laughs> Hugo killed my father. It wasn't those men, it was that stupid... Hey, hey, everything's gonna be okay. It's so sick. The man who murders my father marries my mom just so he can get a passport. Oh my God, oh my God, my mom. She's at the fitness place. Yeah, that, that's what Hugo said, but how do we even know that's true? We don't even know where the retreat is. Come on. I think I know where to look. It's over here in this white box. It's actually not that far from the cabin. I need to look at this too. Could be. No. Hugo would have tried any obvious ones. Family birthdays and such. Look, is it possible your father didn't write the password down? That he just kept it memorized? No. He backed up everything. He always made sure there was a hard copy somewhere. Safe deposit box? Hidden safe in the house? I assume that's one of the things that Hugo's been trying to look for for the past six months. And he clearly hasn't found it yet. Wait. My dad did have a box. The treasure box in the cabin. We never looked inside it. Like the password for a cryptocurrency. Maybe. I mean, Hugo's been to the cabin, but I bet that's one place he never thought to look. Well, well let's go. No. I'll go to the cabin, go get Fee, get my mom, tell her what's been happening. Bailey, I should come with you. No. I need to go there first before Hugo thinks of it. And I really need to know my mom is okay. The place doesn't even allow phones. So just find my mom and then call me on your cell when you know she's okay. Please, Anders, you said the cabin isn't even that far. Just meet me there. I'm trusting you with this. Okay, I'll meet you there. Great. Found her. She's safe. Thank God. V and I both we, we tried to explain what Hugo did, but let me guess. She doesn't believe you. Put her on. Bailey, this is the most ridiculous story ever. I mean, how do you come up with this stuff? This is in childish, Bailey. Bailey, answer me. Bailey. Hey, Bailey, come on out. Look, all I need is the e wallet. Password and that box. I promise I won't hurt you. The e wallet belongs to me, Bailey. 
You took it from my father when you killed him. Bailey, I can hear Hugo. All I wanted was a piece. What is going on? Okay, just, just a, a small piece of what he had. I helped him set up the computers. I deserve a piece of what he mined. What did you do? Show him where the electrical outlet was? You're too stupid to have done anything with value. Why don't you shut your mouth? You didn't even know what you had, did you, Hugo? Just a stupid USB drive. The next point is in the news seven months ago, and you remember that one little thing that you had stored away, but you didn't have the password. Isn't that why you killed Hiro Muzaki? You thought he would have given you the password? Hey, 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 Sun Chu, I can give you the code. I don't want to die. I didn't want to have to do that, but he set the whole thing up. So he must have known a way to hack it, and he wouldn't tell me, so... And you just buried my mom so that you could get to my father's things, right? Isn't that why you tried to help her fix that flat tire the day you guys met? So you could just worm your way into our lives? You drugged her with the shakes, right? So she wouldn't catch on? The worst part of this whole thing was having to pretend to love that woman. Hugo, you're disgusting. <laughs> Drugging her at least made it somewhat palatable. I'm gonna come in now. Bailey, because I'm tired. So let me. <sighs> Bailey! Come on, Bailey! You know you can't outrun me. Where's the e-wallet? My pocket. What about the box? Where's the box? I dropped it when you were chasing me. Where's the box, Bailey? Could be anywhere out there. I said, where is it? I'm not telling you where it is. I need that money. Put the gun down. Hugo! Wait, get the hell back! Hugo. It's okay. I'm warning you, Tina. Listen, the police are on the way. You don't have to do this. I need that money by tomorrow, or I'm a dead man. Hugo, I can get you any amount of money that you want, I promise. Mom, don't. Hugo, shoot me! Mom, stop! Hugo, shoot me! I'll do it! Ah! I need that box! I'll kill you all! Put the gun down! Ah! After everything you've done, I would love nothing more than to pull this trigger on you right now. This is the same gun you used to kill my father, isn't it? That would really bring things full circle now, wouldn't it?
Hey guys, hey. Did you open it yet? Not yet. I wanted to do it with some support. I'm sorry, sweetie. Dad had to have left something. A hard copy or something. I mean, it, it should have been here, Mom. I mean, he left you. I mean, there are 10,000 possible combinations to a four-digit pen. Maybe we could just try We've already been through all that. I mean, it'd take us about 10 years to go through all of it. Was always saying a plan for the future. How could he have not left behind a hard copy or something in case something happened? I know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. The future. The future. The future. Dad wouldn't have used birthdays or an old street address because he knew that anybody could easily search that stuff up on the internet. Okay, wait, you're telling me your dad used the date the, from, the, from the future? But you can't know the future. Mom, when I was born, you immediately started planning for the future, right? Yes, of course. We were so excited the day you were born. We started saving for your college and... But I guess... Wait a minute. The wallet is the college fund. Bailey, you're a genius. College is the only thing parents know when will happen for sure. So it would be September of last year. Well, we have three tries. So I think we should start with the simplest one, which would be uh, the, the four digits of last year. Okay. Right, then it would be Oh my god, <laughs> Bailey. You got it. I'm just glad he's out of the picture. Hugo, me too. You sure you want to do this? It's your money. That's right. And I can do what I want with it. <laughs> but our college tuition, I mean, that's kind of something I want to do. I didn't really get a lot of time with my dad. <sighs> but he would want me to be a good person. Help other people. Help my friends. Besides, the world needs more doctors. <laughs> well, it's a nursing shortage, but I'll take it. <laughs> and what's my reason? The world needs more geeks? No. You get a free ride because you're one of the good ones, Anders. And because your money problems aren't your fault. And because I'm glad to do it. Wait, but what do you get? I get the Grand Canyon. You can still do it? My spot in the program is still open. I just have to be there tomorrow morning to make it on time. I'm so happy for you. I'll be here when you get back. Thanks. No, thank you. And thanks, Mr. Kershaw. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. K.